You might be seeing this and wondering, why do Mario's moving limbs make him look like a breakdancing contortionist in the middle of an exorcism? And today, we take a look at the game's memory in Super Mario 64, and we answer this question and more. You can edit a certain memory address in Super Mario 64 to control the falling snow in the level Snowman's Land and Cool Cool Mountain. As long as this value is within normal limits, the game will behave normally. If you edit this value to be beyond the limit that it normally reaches, the game starts to behave a little weird. As you can see, Mario's animation becomes a bit strange when there's too much snow in the level. His limbs move around strangely, and his body flails all over the place. It's sometimes even a bit hard to keep track of where Mario actually is when you're moving, because you see Mario moving around a lot more than you are moving him. I wanted to try collecting a star while in this state, so I went for the In the Deep Freeze star. It was a bit strange to control Mario, but we were able to get the star. After we got the star, we saw a few flashing, lying down Marios floating above the ground as the Getting the Star cutscene played. Once you exit the level, things go back to normal because there's no snow outside of the level making Mario behave strangely like this. You might be wondering what's happening as we stand still. As Mario stands still, we can see this value in the game's memory slowly increase, and once it reaches a certain point, it will stop increasing, and the amount of snow won't keep going up. You can try running around, moving through the level, leaving the level and entering again, but the value for the amount of snow won't go higher than this other value. There are two ways that we can increase the amount of snow by hacking the game. Firstly, you can directly edit the value. The second thing that you can do is you might have noticed that these numbers are coincidentally 008C followed by 008C, and this is a hexadecimal value which is why there are letters in it. This first 008C is the current amount of snow, and the second 008C is the limit for how much snow the level will spawn. This is the game's way of preventing a crash from too much snow, and in all regular gameplay, it works. If the current snow value is greater than or equal to the maximum snow value, then the current snow value stops incrementing and increasing. You can see that the game has this safe if statement here by increasing the maximum snow value from 008C to 008D, which is one higher. The current snow value will now increase to 0091, but it doesn't keep going up after that because it is now above the maximum snow value level. So, you might be wondering, what happens if you edit this snow limit to a value that's higher than a save value? Can the game still crash? The snow will keep building up, and we can keep running around, and more and more snow starts to appear. The first value is still less than the second value, and that's the only check that matters. That means the game keeps spawning snow until we get to a point where, again, the game crashes from too much snow. If we go back into the level again, with another weird value set for the snow, then sliding and spin drifts both give Mario strange animations that I didn't expect to see. And once Mario landed on the spin drift, I couldn't see Mario until he landed back on the ground. Just like any other game, if we start editing values in the game, we can eventually cause the game to crash, and having too much snow is one way that we can cause Super Mario 64 to crash. If you stand still in this level, this snow value will stop changing after a while, so while you might not be able to crash the game without hacking when it comes to snow, you can duplicate these enemies here called money bags to the point of a game crash, and I talk about that in a past video about fun facts in the level Snowman's Land. Earlier, it looked like Mario was breakdancing, but Mario can also appear to fly around a lot, and this time, Mario doesn't even need the wing cap to do this. Diving into the chill bully in Snowman's Land can cause the game to crash if we have too much snow. And it looks like Mario is stuck in the ice here in this frame where the game freezes, no pun intended. Even if we have less snow in the level, and you can notice that Mario isn't moving around as crazily here because there isn't as much snow, hitting the chill bully the way that I did can still crash the game here. Let's do this. Let's reduce the amount of snow to a normal level and spawn the star. Then we'll pause the game once the star starts to spawn, and let's increase the amount of snow while the game is paused, and now we will unpause the game. You can hear that the game was unpaused, but the pause menu didn't disappear, and you can still continue to hear the star spawning sound playing. 
Compare this sound to what happens when the star spawns normally. It's satisfying to finally hear the sound of the star finish spawning and being able to go and collect that star. And you know what else is satisfying? Clicking the subscribe button to be notified when new videos come out. So I hope you all have a great day, thank you so much for checking out this video, hope you enjoyed it, and take care everybody.